Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to Kentucky Route Zero. So we can either say I'm okay or my leg is stuck. Um, I'd rather be optimistic and say I'm okay, but I don't want to say that and have his leg actually be stuck. So she's like, okay, well, let's just go then. And he's like, oh no, my leg is stuck. <laughs> just kidding, I'm not okay. Uh, my leg is stuck. Shit, okay. I'm gonna pull you out. We have to get you out of here. There you go. Okay, are you hurt? Can you put any weight on that leg? It's all messed up or it's fine. It's fine. Just try to stand up. Careful, I'm right here. Damn, don't worry, I've got you. That leg is in bad shape. Okay, well, I was trying to be optimistic. Here, let's get you out into the tram. There you go. Now let's see if this thing has any power. Well, okay, there's some luck, right? We should be able to ride this tram out of one of the auxiliary exits, if there are any. I think there are. Sorry, it takes me a second to read it because it starts, the script starts popping up, like it heads up, and I'm like, eh, I gotta like move with it. Anyways, um, I can walk. What about Weaver? What about the on-ramp? What about Weaver? We'll just find the exit and then we'll figure out what to do from there. That's our first priority. So the controls are over there on your side. Let's get moving. Okie dokie. Does something happen if we turn the lamp off? I guess not. I want to see if something pops up. And again, maybe not. Okay. I was just kind of curious as to why they would give us the option to turn the lamp off if it doesn't do anything. It makes it more spoopy, I guess. We seem to make a pretty good pair. What's a turntable? Oh, does that change the direction? What if we just go straight? Let's just go straight first so I can make sure there's nothing this way. And then if it's a dead end or we don't find anything, then we can head back. Sorry, I just like messing with the light. I think it's fun. Oh, they have a birdcage on the mine. Or not on the mine, but rather the mine cart. I've never, I never knew if that was true or not. Like my parents used to tell me that um, when, before we had all the technology we had today to see if anything is okay or safe or anything like that. Oh, the exit's that way. No, we're going back. I want to go, I want to go explore. Um, but my parents told me like back before we had all the technology we had today, when people used to go down in the mines, they would have to use like canaries and different types of birds uh, that would sing to see if the air was breathable. And if the birds stopped singing, that was like your signal to get the heck out. I don't know if that's true or if it's just a wives' tale, though. Because we we live in Florida, and if you mine in Florida, you just end up with water or sinkholes. There's not really anything to mine down here, except maybe limestone, but. I don't know if limestone has any use. But can we use the turntable? Oh, here we are. This may be hard to believe, but it's hard for me to believe myself, but the whole branch was underwater last I heard. Is it safe even though we already know it is? I guess so. It looks like they finally drained it, or maybe someone drained it off, or maybe it just drained off on its own. The water came in pretty fast and a lot of folks got trapped in the tunnels. I only heard parts of how it went from there. Sanitized for the bereaved, you know how these big companies are. So maybe the graveyard in the back, in the backyard was for the people who drowned down here? Which is kind of morbid, but... Uh, but there was gossip too. The trap miners couldn't get all the pumps going because the power was rationed, so they shut all the lights off, but even then it wasn't enough. So I guess it was dark when they... Oh, 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It doesn't matter now. Look, this old turntable is still wired up. The controls are dead, but if I can use my signal generator to switch the tracks, if the water hasn't damaged it too much, or we can just keep heading down this tunnel. All this junk hanging up around the turntable is from the company store. Just junk, you know. The miners would buy it to use it and decorate the place, or as landmarks, I guess. Hard to know which way is which down here. It's also dim and gray. Yeah, I really don't like the scarecrow, and I think that's a coffin. So, still pretty morbid. Uh, connects two clips, or er, connects two clip leads from her signal generator to the turntable's electrical panel. We're on track between the animal bones and the rowboat, so. Oh, that's weird. But it's cool. I like how they messed with the type. With the typeface. Um, so we already know the animal bones and the rowboat is the right way, so let's go between the bat feeder and the scarecrow. I don't want to miss anything. I want to make sure we do all the exploration we can. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. It's like, uh, how do you explain it? It's like, it's still 2D, but it's a 3D perspective. I love when games do that. You have to be very clever to do stuff like that. And be very good with spatial awareness and spatial differentiation and all those other fancy words and stuff. I don't even know if spatial differentiation is a thing, but... The tracks are all messed up here. This tram isn't going any further. I wonder what's down that tunnel. Can we go down there? No? Okay. Oh wait, 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 wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me just see, what happens when I turn off the light? Spoopy scary. Okay. Let's go. I'll stop being a dingus and we'll get going. So next is the rowboat and something else. I think it was the casket. Uh, so let's do the pendulum and the casket. That is so cool. I love that. Oh, it's so trippy. I wonder how you animate something like that. I don't know. Let's get going, though. I want to be a, I want to be a little bit quick about it. Like I do want to explore everything, but I also want to be quick so we can get this done in this episode. So let's get it moving in the grooving. Cause I'm curious to see what happens after we get out of the mine. There's a tape player. Why is there a tape player? A dusty reel-to-reel -reel tape player is stashed beneath the track loaded with a tape, but starved for power. Well, it looks like this is the end of the road for us anyways, so let's go. I kind of wish you could get off the track and explore, but I guess that would not be safe, considering the fact the entire place feels like it's about to fall down. I really want to go visit a mine. I've always thought they were kind of cool. I guess probably because we don't have any in Florida. But for people who work in them, they're probably really mundane and boring. I guess it just depends on what you're used to. Okay, so let's go. There's animal bones and robo. Animal bones and robo.
Well, it's been fun, but it's time for us to go. Okay. I also like messing with the light because, uh, what's her name? Marquez Weaver told us that we should be careful, especially in the dark. So I was just curious to see if maybe she was alluding to something down here. That we need to be careful in the dark down here, or maybe it's something later on in the game. Oh! Oh, there are people! Oh! Oh, goodness me! Oh, that was scary! Oh, <laughs> so there is something to turning off the lights. There are people. Oh, dude, there are people. Oh, there are people following. Oh, there are people following us. Ah, that's so cool. Are they still following us? No. Oh my gosh. Oh, turn the light back on. Ah. <laughs> it's cool until they catch up to us and, and find us. Then, then it's not cool. Then it's scary. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, let's go or let's poke around down here a bit more first. Let's just go. Yeah, okay. I just... That tunnel where the tracks were broken. I'd like to take a look down there. Do whatever you need. I'll just wait for you here. Or if you wait for me here, I'll just go take another look around. Oh. So either way, she goes. Um... We'll do that. Sure, okay, I'll be right here. Take the light with you. Shannon, no, take the light with you. The ghost eagles are gonna get you. Okay, you have a light, good. We can't turn this one off, though. That's probably a good thing. Oh my gosh, what is that? What are those? Helmets? Shannon? Where's Shannon? Where's Shannon? Dude. Dude, where's Shannon? Did we leave her down there? Oh. Don't do that to me. I thought she got, like, spooked or something. I thought she might have got stabbed by a ghost or something. Hey, stranger. I didn't think you were coming back. Did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, maybe. Look, we're not gonna talk about that anymore, okay? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. No, I'm sorry, I'm just on edge. It'll be okay once we get away from this mine. How's the leg? I can walk on it, but it's slow. I can walk on it, but it's painful. Well, I'll try not to get too far ahead of you. If you don't mind my hitchhiking a ride, do you? I kind of got a lift out here, and I wasn't sure if, uh, when I'd be heading back. I can drive. Uh, maybe that's best. Don't worry, I've been driving since I was nine. I still need to find the zero, or I guess I should look for another route to Dogwood Drive. Uh... Yeah, alright. Well, maybe asking Weaver about the Zero was the wrong place to start. Maybe we should just ask her for specific directions. Her answers are always complicated enough without a layer of indirection at the question. I saw Weaver at my workshop. It's up north, by Lake Nolan. Right at Wax and still don't know how to say that, Piona, in the back of the bait shop. Pretty glamorous, right? These are the times we live in. She's either up there or back at the farmhouse. Whichever you want to head to first, just let me know. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here, and in the next episode, we'll decide between the farmhouse and the bait shop. So I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!